Let's break down for you now what's the problem with regards to this opposition unity that we keep talking about. Now, very often it's stated that the party best suited to currently lead the opposition is the Congress. That you can't sit your front without the Congress. And yet, why is it that it's so hard for this to happen? Why is it that the Congress is struggling really to get the opposition to band together? Well, let's break that down for you. First of all, is that there are many parties who have said very clearly that they're not okay coming together, banding together under Rahul Gandhi. His leadership is not acceptable to many parties. And that's also one of the factors is because of the fact that many opposition netas have their own PM ambitions. Take, for example, the BRS, take K, uh, KCR. And that's where there's a problem. TMC has refused to work with the Congress as well. The Congress is in direct contest with regional parties in several states. Uh, if you look at the recent example of the Northeast elections and what played out between the Congress and TMC, that itself is a big, big tell on how the Congress can't really get all of these parties to the talking table. There are parties like the AAP, like the BRS, which have grown at Congress's cost. They've ensured that they make inroads because the Congress is struggling in several states. And that's why they'll he be hesitant to really be seen joining hands with the Congress. Alliances with the Congress didn't help some parties. Take, for example, what happened with Samajwadi Party or the RJD, for that matter. An alliance with Congress didn't help them win elections. So other parties will look at performance numbers and believe that, hey, this doesn't benefit us in any way. Having said that, if there's going to be any question of opposition unity, it will have to be led by the Congress. Why is that? Well, it's the only party with a pan-India presence. It has an all-India vision as well. So there's no question of a third front really working out here because the Congress will have to stitch everyone together. The Bharat Jodo Yatra may perhaps have revived people's hope uh, in the party. There were questions about whether sentiments moved in favor of Rahul Gandhi positively after the Bharat Jodo Yatra. They've constantly, consistently raised issues against the Prime Minister, against the BJP. They've been trying to do that also aggressively in Parliament. They also, very importantly, electorally, if you look at the numbers, whether they've had any success rate, you can take one example, Himachal Pradesh. The Modi magic can be countered was a message that the Congress sent out in Himachal Pradesh. But has that been replicated in other states? Of course, there'll be questions on that. There's also a perception largely that to counter the BJP and the Hindutva narrative, the Congress is alone capable of doing that. So to, uh, in fact, uh, go ahead and counter that Hindutva politics, the Congress has been actively doing that and perhaps could take the lead there. They've also seen leadership from across India and that largely helps the Congress. If you look at most states in the country, they've got a very strong state unit. So all of this together means that yes, Congress is the ideal candidate to bring the opposition together but it's not really happening because of one issue or the other. And this is something we'll track very closely in the run-up to 2024, whether the Congress can actually play uh, a consistent, consistent role, really, in stitching the opposition and bringing them together.